Hello folks, welcome to our little homestead. If you've been here before, welcome back. So if you watched yesterday's video, I mentioned where I was supposed to go pick up something today. I made a trade on something. So I ended up getting rid of one of my garden tractors. As you can see, I collect garden tractors. I got about another 10 or 15 more out back. I traded one I thought of fixing up, but then when the guy mentioned he wanted it and he offered to trade me this, I said, sure thing. Now, I've had one of these years before, way back, so I'm 55 now. I used to always, always have different ones of these when I was younger. I'd come across them. They're getting a little harder to find now, so when the guy mentioned he had this, I said, sure thing, so I traded them. The other garden tractor just needed a little work to get running, but I have enough of them now. Anyways, you folks know I, I collect these old uh, ski to Alpines. Single ski, double track machines, high, low, and reverse. Well, I, got, I got a unit today. It's a single ski, single track, but it's fairly wide. It's got forward and reverse, no high and low. Single cylinder. They were made right in Sudbury, Ontario, so not too far from us. A little south of us by probably two and a half hours. You don't see too many of them around anymore, but anyways... How many of you folks have ever heard of a snow bug? Well, if you watch my uh, video from way back when, you'll see my younger brother had one. And I have footage, not on my YouTube channel, but I have footage uh, where I had uh, a few. I had a 77, 1977 snow tractor before. Took the twin cylinder engine. These machines are very primitive and very basic. There's not much that can go wrong with them. They're very good for, for uh, breaking trail. I think they were basically they, they were they were geared towards trappers and people who went ice fishing so here it is here these things are an open chain concept pillow block bearings all the way around the track is just three belt strips with cleats riveted on it they're held together with alligator clips very very primitive you know you don't get much more simple than this so we're gonna unload this and I'll show you what it's like here. I think that should go somewhere there. Oh, that's not good. Push this in a bit here. Perfect. So I'm gonna start this thing up, let it idle while I get the seat. It has a single cylinder sax snowmobile engine on it, in it, a two stroke. So here, come on over here please. So you just pull up on the choke here. That chokes it, so when you pull up it chokes it. I have the key turned on. Now let's see if we can start this thing. Um, sorry, you push down. <laughs> you push down to choke it. Should be a few pulls. And it should start.
raining out here. Sorry about that. So you don't get much more basic than that. So if it'll run in the gravel this easy, you have a pretty idea what it's going to be like in the snow. Pop the hood off, I'll show you what it looks like under the hood. Simple engine, that's the choke. Push in for choke, pull it out for a non choke. Just a jerry can for a gas tank. This here is the forward and reverse. You see it on there. Sample under here is a little toolbox for storage. Under the seat is where your throttle cable and your brakes run. Uh, let me show you what the tracks look like. Get the side. You know what? I'll just lift it like this here. You can see. See that? They're not very heavy at all. They've got large sprockets. Very light design. I see, watch this. Two fingers here on the front. I'll check this out. I should be able to lift that with two fingers. Like nothing, two fingers. Yeah. That's that simple. I will put the hood back on it. back here you see here there used to be little clips back here that held the hood on but you know that's fine that little chain guard is missing right here I gotta build a chain guard for it here but that's that's just how simple they are those are snow bugs I believe they were made in a place called Nor Ont Steel in Sudbury, Ontario. This one is a 1974 Snowbug Superbug. Let me start it up. I want to see the headlights work on it. I'm not sure if it does. Uh, let me see here. night driving with it, not that we ever will, but seriously watch, two fingers for it.
satisfies your curiosity. Andrew was asking, he was wondering, so there you go, Andrew. That's what I got here. I do have to put a windshield on it. Clean this off again here, sorry about that. Now I do need to put a windshield on it, which is no big deal. It just takes a normal piece of plexiglass, Lexon, whatever. That guard is original on it, that's proper. That ski is all proper. Everything on it is proper. Gas tank's proper, everything. I'm gonna push the choke down just so nothing gets in there. Yeah. Well, climb in, Heather, I wanna show them what it looks like for size. Turn the key on. Now. Up on that lever over there. Oh, push down on it, sorry. Now, that's good. Now, with your right foot, give it some throttle. Go ahead, back her off. Lift up on it. That's all. Lift up. Lift up. Good. I think somebody likes it. <laughs> there it going to steer better in the snow right but that's how they work very very simple you have to do a few tweaks on it but nothing at all serious anyways hope you enjoyed this folks that's what i went to get i traded a garden tractor for it and they're great for breaking trail they're not really great for pulling wood because they're not that very strong like they're not strong enough to pull much but they're good for breaking trail, and they're a novelty piece, basically. And I think Heather kind of enjoys it, don't you? Yeah, it was fun. Well, I hope you're looking forward to seeing that thing run through the woods this uh, this winter. It's going to be a fun play toy. i got to find a spot and get it undercover. Same as my Alpine, too. I have to get it undercover. But you don't get much more basic than that as far as snow machines go. Top speed, I think, is about 40, 45 mile an hour at the most. Probably 40 mile an hour, I think, at the most, but uh, single ski with a spring. There was a spring in the top, but I see it's a little short. It's supposed to be a little longer spring there in the top, but that's fine. That looks like it's off a snowmobile clutch or something. But it's supposed to have a large one, like the bottom, I believe, at the top. That rack, that guard was original too. That's what they came with back in 1974. Just a jerry can for a gas tank, that's all they had. That's all they took. Aluminum frame. They're, they're very simple. No bogey wheels, just slides, and they're like this Teflon type slide. So, sure, gravel's not great for it, but you know, that yeah, probably polishes up some rust. <laughs> Anyways, you folks take care, and we will talk to you another time. Bye bye, y'all.